Hello. Everyone's favourite YouTube influencer is back in the press once again. He's back in the ring. He's giving it a go. He's training for his Jack Doherty rematch. In the red corner, weighing in at £105, we have Neon. Right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Sean Jones Fighting YouTube channel. Here we cover everything from professional fights all the way to absolute retards having a spa in a cage. So if you love combat sports, you like learning more about fighting, and even if you just want to get away from your beard, sit on the toilet for 15 minutes and be entertained then this is the channel for you now guys i know i've been covering a lot more of the professional fighting stuff recently but we can't deny there's a big demand for neon the last two <laughs> the last two videos i've put up of neon i've got over a million views what the hell <laughs> The world is crazy. And then I talk about Alex Pereira or Leon Edwards, and it gets like 10,000 views. But it's all good. It's all just a little bit of fun. Right now, everyone knows KSI. I'd like to think so anyway. KSI, come on. Logan Paul's business partner. Let's call him that. He's got a brother called Deji. And Deji does a bit of boxing himself. And to be fair, he's been doing okay. Now, granted, it is all influencer boxing. But fair play, he's stepping in there. Actually, wait there. I stand corrected. Deji's record is two wins, four losses. So he's actually not doing too great then. <laughs> but fair play, he fought Floyd Mayweather in 2022. Can't play too much of this video, but I mean, it didn't go great for him because, I mean, he was fighting Floyd Mayweather. And especially at the end, Floyd Mayweather absolutely battered him. But in terms of being within the influencer boxing world, Deji's got skills. You know, he knows how to throw a punch. Now, Neon, here. We've covered his boxing journey quite a fair bit on this channel. As we do with any upcoming influencer who's getting into combat sports, we tip our hat to them. We show them a bit of respect for actually trying. And to be fair, I've always said Neon's got decent potential. He can throw a decent jab on him. Now, he didn't fare too well when he fought Jack Doherty a month ago. But it's okay. It was a street fight. It was a little bit chaotic. We'll forgive him for that. But anyway, today we're going to see how Neon is looking against someone who's got fairly okay boxing skills. Let's jump into it. All right, you ready? Touch gloves. Let's go. Oh, okay. Time's in. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready. Hold on, go, go back a little. I'll go back a little. All right, hold on. Time in. Here we go, Neon. The f*** is that? Touching gloves. Watch Neon's technique. Intimidating. And that's the end of the video right there. So it was a first round KO by Deji. Make sure you like the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm only joking. What the hell happened there? So as you see here, Deji's trying to pull out a shot from Neon by putting his hands out like this. But look at Deji's right hand. It's primed to throw that pull counter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Why is Neon fighting with glasses on? That felt good. <laughs> I've never got hit in the face before. Wait, really? I swear to God, that's the first time. I swear to God. Oh, wow. Hey. Now no hit face shots. All right, let's go. Huh? No. Wait, no face shots? No. Yeah, no, we need more face shots. No. Okay, okay. I All thought right. we agreed sorry, to that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. I feel like you're going to hit me. No, I won't, I won't hit Say, well, That's what Neon needs. Neon needs the face shots in order to give him that grit. But you're not Muslim. Fuck okay, it. I'll convert you. I am so scared. I can't. You can hit me anywhere. It's fine. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Last minute. Oh, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get his face. I'm going to get, no. I'm going to get your face. <laughs> Deji's already going back on the agreement. Oh, I just flashed before my eyes. What the f***? What? Oh, my God. oh, oh wow. Keep on. Neon beats himself. What was that? Oh, you can see his foot slid down the cage. How does your whole body fall from that, though? What the f***? Oh, my God. Run <laughs> it back. We go. Undrop your hands. Use your elbows. 
What was that? I don't know. I don't know. Try to uppercut me, motherfucker. Wait a second. Oh. No! Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Dude. What are you doing, Neon? You falling over yourself? No! Yeah, that's what I'm forgetting. You're, you're, you're a dirty fighter, man! I see it. Two of them are good remarks. Are you tired already? Come on. Right, I'm going to critique Deji here. I remember doing this with Jake Paul when Jake Paul sparred Aiden Ross. When you're sparring someone who is clearly a lot more inexperienced than you, you're doing all this fainting and you're keeping perfect distance and it becomes incredibly boring and you're not letting Neon throw anything because he basically gets frozen. He's biting on every single feint. We know that you're better than Neon, but you don't need to dodge and evade 100% of shots. Let Neon get a little bit comfortable first. Get your guards up. Let Neon throw a few shots. Get him feeling relaxed because right now he's just on edge and he's not going to throw anything because Deji's too much like this. First round, chill out, Deji. The jab looking sharp, yeah? You throw two of them, you'll catch him, yeah? The double jab backhand is what I need to see, yeah? I want okay. You listening? What did I say? Yeah. The double jab backhand is what I need to see, yeah? Okay. But Once again, the coach is giving him advice. What's Neon doing? He's more concerned about what the chat's saying. Stand up, breathe. Huh? Not bad, though. See that, jab? This is what I want from you. Pay attention. That one's just I'm missing one. Step in with the second one. I'm, 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 I'm only taking my glove. I think hmm? you should. I just can't see without them, but... He's not listening. Neon, do you just think that you're better than people because you've got such a big audience and this guy isn't worth listening to? And that if you listen to him, it's going to make it appear weak or something or it's like some sort of power play? That's what I always think when I see people do stuff like this, when they're just completely disengaged from what another person's saying and they're looking around like that. I hate it because you know what it is? It's ego. That's my theory anyway. It's almost don't want to engage with you. You know, they're happy to talk, but they don't want to listen. They don't want to have a conversation. They don't want to accept your advice it's a power play and that's what neon's like right here look as the coach is giving him good solid advice right now about the double jab and the right hand watch neon one. step in with the second one i'm, 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 I'm only taking my off i think hmm? you should i just can't see without them but okay he doesn't pay attention double jab back and straight away just put it on him So there you go, you can see that he hasn't listened to the coach. What the coach was saying is double up on the jab because you're not going to be able to hit Deji with just single shots. And that's all Neon's doing. No, you need to double up on that jab so you can close that distance because Deji's just going like this, moving his head, little small little movements. And once again, Deji, friggin' hell, mate. Let the kids relax. Yeah, I'll just double jet back in Australia. Two minutes, two minutes, four minutes, fast pace, two jets. Pop, 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 pop. Where's the second one? And then right over the top. That's, that's points for me. Yeah, these are all points. That's points, trust me. I've watched boxing. I bet on it. <laughs> I was just about to say, if you take a look at Neon's jab, his jab's actually okay. But so far, we're seeing Deji prove that he's better than Neon. Sorry, 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 sorry. You okay? Oh, I'm good. Oh, why would you ask me that and do it again? That's one, one oh. All right, oh, no, one, 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 one five, you're up. This is all well and good in boxing, but kickboxing, or Muay Thai, as I say, that right leg, whoosh, straight to the nose. Pro punches, bro, come on. Pro punches. Well, let him, Deji, let him throw some punches. Pro punches. He's going to feel discouraged if you're ducking and dodging every single one. Let him throw something. Last hand, go into him, Neon, that's a good shot. Thank you, thank you. And again. And again! Hi! Bro, bro, punches! I got you, bro! You're trying to, I see what you're trying to counter me so I can... <laughs> is that not 
that what you're doing? No, I'm ready to throw. Oh, there, all right. Yeah, the fact that Deji isn't catching on to the reason why Neon isn't throwing punches shows his... This is going to sound a little bit silly right now, and I might get a few KSI and Deji fans in the comments saying that I'm wrong and saying, well, who are you, Deji? A batter you want to fight? I believe, my personal opinion, this shows Deji's lack of experience. And when I say experience, of course, he's better at boxing than me, but in terms of just time in the game, time doing a combat sport time doing boxing it's evident because he's like why aren't you throwing punches bro the reason why neon's not throwing punches is because you're like this in his face and go what if you stand in front of any beginner and do that, what do you think the reaction's going to be? They're going to freeze up. Like, how hard is it to understand that? But as I say, Deji's been doing this for, what, like like four years now, maybe? And maybe he's yet to learn that. I'm not saying he can't box. He took and him, and it bam. That's what I want to see, yeah? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And him move. Okay, there we go. So Neon was paying a bit more attention then. Good Neon. Right, let's see if he can implement the advice that his coach give. Oh, he's doing a KSI. Oh, you can do that. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Deji keeps saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yet he keeps doing it. He keeps throwing with a lot of power to the body. So you're obviously not sorry because you keep doing it. Use that jab. Keep you away. Know, that's it. That's it. Every time you throw the jab. Oh, he's trying to counter. I can't, bro. He's too long. I might just have to make it the distance. No, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Double jab, Neon. <laughs> sorry. Neon's going to stop. Throw it. Throw the punch. Throw it. Bro, I'm not even in range, man. <laughs> Put your hands behind your back. What? <laughs> Double! <laughs> 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 How are you? I have my hand behind my back. Go him! Neon, go at him! Go at him! Neon, come on. Neon, stop, come on. <laughs> Neon done the double punch then. <laughs> He's on the Hadouken. Stop, come on. Right there. <laughs> Hadouken. <laughs> what is the point? You're just going to dodge every single shot. There's no point whatsoever. I'm not even kidding. When there's a big dude sitting in front of me, I don't know what to do, bro. <laughs> I'm being so dead ass, bro. Like, I'm just scared to get punched, bro. But my hands were behind my Can back. Can I get back to my phone, please? Because I saw what you were doing. You were trying to, like, you're no, I, 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 I promise you, I was not going to hit you. That's it. Back to the phone. Chat's playing on my ass now. Watch. Keep me getting the ring. You're doing what? What? 99% of people can't do? You did, you did well. Trust me. Thank you, man. I was kind of hoping to see some more improvements of Neon, but I think just because Deji was not letting Neon do anything. Neon was just too hesitant to throw anything. Deji should have recognised that. Okay, and I know he put his hands behind his back, but still, once again, you've got to look at this through the eyes of not just a beginner, but a very nerdy beginner who's scared of his own shadow half the time. If he sees someone like that with their hand behind the back going, oh, 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 in front of them and that, after three whole rounds of getting countered, he's going to be a bit scared. He's not going to pull the trigger. I also want to take this opportunity to announce, while there's a few more eyes on this video, next Thursday... Thursday the 8th, I'm launching my very own training app, the Apex Athlete. Now, I know some people might think, why would I listen to you? Well, I haven't been able to train properly in the last year and a half due to being sick, but I've been a coach for 13 years, gym owner for nine years. Here's some footage of me training on the side whilst I'm speaking to show you that I know what I'm talking about. If you want to build muscle to look absolutely boss on your next lad's holiday, or maybe so you can feel like you can protect your girl better, or maybe you want to improve your physicality for a combat sport that you're currently doing so you're no longer undersized at a particular 
called Weight Class. This app is going to be perfect for you. It's an all-in-one resource. Customized workouts to suit your goals and preferences. Exercise demonstrations. Nutrition tracker. Progress tracker. A built-in community and hundreds of exclusive videos that are going to be available nowhere else on the internet to give you all the education you need to become the best version of yourself physically, to become the apex athlete. If you want to join the waiting list, the first 100 members are going to get 20% off for life. The waiting list is in the pinned comment or the description. And when you join that waiting list, I'm going to send you 12 free training programs to say thank you. We go live next Thursday. Appreciate everyone who stayed to the end, like this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.